pudding. So I cooked the quinoa separately, just usual one cup quinoa and two cups water. And this is how it looks cooked. Then I added like a tablespoon of ghee and I'm gonna add a cup of flax milk and some nuts and maybe um, half a cup of either molasses, coconut sugar, or monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, so I am making this fall oatmeal with quinoa. So as I told you in my previous snippet, I cooked the quinoa and then, um, then I added flax milk and some cardamom and cinnamon and some raisins and amongst fruit sweetener. Um, I will send you the measurements um, down in the video, but uh, essentially this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add in, this is uh, a vital protein collagen creamer. So you're supposed to be adding this after it's cooked, not while it's cooking. So for extra protein, I'm gonna add a scoop to the creamer so this becomes a full meal. You can also have it for breakfast if you know you're not gonna have lunch, this is your full meal. And then I'm gonna just stir it to give it that extra richness and the yum flavor. It almost smells like vanilla oatmeal, that's yummy. So now what I'm going to do is See how easily it mixes, it just mixes through completely. So you don't need to cook it. Just remember that, that if you cook it, then your mix will become very sticky and gooey and I'm not sure if you like the texture. So I'm gonna pour some out here, just so. And this is my lunch come supper today, so I'm, I'm gonna go at it. And then I'm going to, I roasted these nuts, as I said before. So flavorful when you roast them. So I'm going to kind of toss them over here like that. So now you get a ton of healthy fats, a ton of protein, a ton of fiber, and you know, a lot of good vitamins here. It's a full nutritious meal. And I'm gonna save some later for the next batch. You can always save this, eat it cold, eat it warm, just the way you like it. And this is your yummy, for quinoa meal when you feel your bowl of oats. <laughs>